Hey guys, it's December, it's close to Christmas. I'm just gonna make a very, very, very quick video about a few anime that I'm very excited for in 2021. And most of these are, actually, all of these are sequels. Every single one of these things on this list are a sequel. Yay, okay, so let's, let's begin with the most obvious choices. Attack on Titan, My Hero Akka, both of them are returning for next year for, you know, their first seasonal lineup. Uh, for My my Hero, it's season five. For uh, Attack on Titan, it's their final season. Can't go wrong with either one of those anime. You just, you can't. They're, they're solid. You know, Attack on Titan got crappy around season two. And it was eh, a little bit at the beginning of season three. But the end of season three really amped it up. And since then, you know, it's been a good series so like once again a very good series so again hero aka attack on titan can't go wrong with either one of them then we have you know the the darker more sinister storyline of uh the promised neverland coming back again for a second season in 2021 i cannot wait i cannot wait for this i'm so excited so beyond the point of excited for promised neverland it's probably on my like, to, like, it's near the top of priority as far as anime go uh, to watch in 2021. I can't wait for, for it to come out. I, I'm just so excited. The next one is kind of a sleeper. Kind of. Just a little bit. And that's Laid Back Camp. So Laid Back Camp is the exact opposite of The Promised Neverland, right? Promised Neverland is... You know, mind games, psychological drama, psychological horror, um, thriller, all that stuff. And laid back camp is cute girls doing cute things and nothing ever goes terribly catastrophically wrong, right? Because that's laid back camp for you. And I love laid back camp. There's, <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta have something, you know, you know, more relaxing in a year and laid back camp season one was phenomenal for just pretending the world didn't exist i'm not kidding and there were a lot of days this year a lot of days this year where i got really shitty news or got really you know had a really bad day uh and this year 2020 being what it was i was like i don't want to watch any of the new anime i want to go back and watch an old favorite and i would i would pull up laid back camp because I just wanted something mindless. I didn't want to think about all the garbage in the world. And Laid Back Camp served that role so well. And now that it's coming back, I'm very happy because as of right now, you know, certain certain viral outbreaks and other stupidity are still a thing. And so having this one slice of positivity to really look forward to, like, you can't mess up this level of positivity in any way, shape, or form, and you can't really rip it away unless you say, oh, we're not, it's not coming out and it's being pushed back, right? Like, if that happens, that's going to suck. It hasn't happened yet. So that is the one positive thing, right? In 2021, we're getting an anime where nothing bad can happen. Like, there's no evil monster. There's no terrible situation or terrible outcome. It's just cute girls doing cute things, and sometimes that's what you need. Like, that's sometimes just all you need. So after Laid Back Camp, you know, we have a couple of more interesting ones. Dr. Stone is back, okay? Now, Dr. Stone is back in the 2021 lineup. Uh, and honestly, I don't know how I feel about Dr. Stone. It's a good series. Don't get me wrong. I don't dislike it. I... It's just... Okay, so, again, when I go into shonen anime, okay, or, or, you know, mind game anime, I want something a little darker or a little more mature or a little more less, um... Uh, shonen bro derpage right? I mean, there's a lot of that in Dr. Stone. And 
I again, I love Dr. Stone, but there is a point to it where I'm like, yeah, no thanks. It's kind of like Naruto in that right way. Like, I loved Naruto. I grew up with Naruto. I watched Naruto religiously. But Naruto is one of those shows you have to be in the mood to watch because there's just levels of stupid in Naruto that, again, if you like the plain stupid fun of Naruto, that's awesome. And again, it does have very compelling storylines, particularly in Shippuden. But yeah, like Dr. Stone is of that same caliber, right? Like there's compelling storyline, but sometimes it's just flat out stupid. It's a good series. It's a great series. But there are moments of just pure stupidity. But again, it's anime. And sometimes, just like with Laid Bad Camp, you just want stupidity. Or you just want that shonen, shonen bro, mindless, that kind of mindlessness instead. And again, Dr. Stone delivers on in- intelligent storytelling stupid storytelling and flat out just again people dudes being dudes and and just people being stupid so again i you know again the one upsmanship in the series is is just again it's pure shonen bro at at this point but again i like it i'm excited for it it's just lower on my list than things like promise neverland and laid back camp and uh you know again attack on titan my Hero Aka. Great stuff. So we get into the, the final, uh, you know, really big anime I'm super excited for this year, and that's actually Beastars. Now, when I first, and I'm going to do an actual video on Beastars, the first season, like talking about its complications, because there's a lot of things in Beastars that make me uncomfortable. There's a lot of things in Beastars I don't like. That being said, even though there's a lot of things I don't like in Beastars, and I mean there's a lot of things that just like make me uncomfortable about it or to me miss a mark or two, but that being said, you, it's you're not going to find, I think, a better a better drama that's not necessarily a drama, if that makes sense. Because it's not necessarily an over-the-top dramatic anime. But you have characters like Lugosi who kind of, you know, have this, this melancholy to him. And he's very thoughtful and very introspective. This whole series, all of Beastars, has thoughtful, introspective characters that well and truly, I think, stand out to me. And again, in the setting of, of this school life setting where you have these characters who are being teenagers, you know, you know, older teenagers, they're not young teenagers, but they're still teenagers. And then you add on top of that animal instinct. And this gives you this sort of weird, like, you have to suspend your disbelief just, just a little bit. But what it does give you, I think, in return for your suspension of disbelief is a really, really well thought out drama. That's not necessarily a drama. There's a lot of like funny moments. There's a lot of softer moments in it. There's a lot of just, you know, again, introspection from certain characters. There's, again, sometimes it's flat out dumb. Like there's just flat out stupid moments. There's an, there's a moment in an episode. I say moment. It's, it's a section of the, 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 uh, the stupid chicken <laughs> this st- I, I it's one of those things i tune out because it's so st- it's so dumb it's so absolutely dumb but there's this whole section of this anime uh fuck that's <laughs> pardon my french or my language in general but it is uh it is devoted to yes to chicken to chicken laying egg laying unfertilized eggs and then giving them to some some people who then use it to make lunch sandwiches you know egg sandwiches for lunch for the characters and it's just, that's just one of those moments where you go mm, no 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 <laughs> don't do this so again there's like what were they thinking why is that a thing why is this a thing right so again there are moments like that where you go this is so stupid that that this like this somehow made this in, into the series and why did it make it into the series is beyond my comprehension. But if you can look past that kind of dumb storytelling, there's a real depth to Beastars. And I mean that 
honestly and wholeheartedly. So that is probably the last sequel that like I am super excited for. And again, there's a lot more anime in 2021 that that's promising to be good. These are just the anime that, you know, I know are coming in 2021 throughout the year. They're anime that like, you know, all the announcements are out, you know, all the, you know, unless something tr- like terrible happens and, you know, things get pushed back or something fucked up happens again. These are the, the ser- these are the series that like I'm really hoping for. So that being said, I'm going to leave this video here with that. Promise Neverland. Beast stars. You know, uh Dr. Stone. You know, My Hero Aka, Attack on Titan. I mean, you know, Laid Back Camp. All of these anime are going to be solid entries to any watch list. And for 2021, I'm super excited about that. Now then, uh, Demented Ferrets has already taken, you know, me and Christian have already taken a break from streaming on Twitch, and we won't be back until the new year. The same goes for this channel. We will be back in uh, January 1st. You will be receiving a video January 1st, I promise you. So, there's that. So until then, I will see you in the new year. Have a happy holidays. Have a happy new year. If you celebrate something, again, I celebrate Christmas. I don't know what anybody else celebrates. If you celebrate something else, happy holidays to you. Have a very, very happy, you know, happy time as much as you can in this year. If you are, you know, seeing family, I hope it's doing it the safe way. I hope everybody stays safe this holiday. Wear your masks. COVID-19 is no joke. Wear your masks. Be safe. Social distance. I am saying this because I have family who have had COVID. It was not fun. They recovered. It took them a few weeks to recover. No, they were not hospitalized. No, it wasn't god awful, but it could have been. Wear your masks. Social distance. Be safe this holiday season. And go into the new year happy and healthy and not ill and feeling like garbage. So please, just do that. And I will see you in 2021 with hopefully a bunch of good videos. I've got, I've got things actually like properly being recorded now. So you're going to see that next year. Um, again, the first of, of January, keep, keep on the edge of your seats on that one. But until then, I will see you guys then. Bye.